live here at the command center JW Solo USA. Uh, it's part two of this video again today. And guys, I'm happy to have you on board. And um, I know you, some of you guys are so excited me doing the 12 volt system again. And which I've uh, been talking about big systems constantly. But folks, this is what I'm going to do. So instead of starting scratching all this uh, charge controller, which I've been doing lately. I don't want, um, I want to mount it, okay? So doing so, I'm trying to come up with a strategy that's how I'm going to mount this thing. I want it to be elevated. And you guys can see up here, I got some bushings or plastic mount. As you've seen here, you can see like a rubber. So I set it up. I want to set this inverter to elevate it. Sorry, the charge controller. And so that I can able to have more clearance um, of air circulation and all the good stuff because I want this thing to breathe better okay I know it's gonna generate heat does have fans if it has fans I would have said it's okay but uh, I like to all my install I like to elevate my stuff so what I'm gonna do here let me show you bring it close sorry for the shake I said I have this mountains here which is kind of hard and uh, I set it up these other ones here they are bushings here uh, rubber bushings uh, at my special store in the cities um, mind you guys uh, we have twin cities here Minneapolis and St. Paul from Minnesota so um, I decided to buy these guys here trying to elevate this thing higher so what I'm going to do, as I'm sitting here contemplating what I'm going to do next, I want to do, take the initiative and grab this uh, charge controller and set it right on this. Okay? If I decide to put it right on the holes there, they're not going to correspond because the bushings are kind of wider. I have a lot of uh, small clearance here on the bottom you see it's not gonna work so what I come up with I'm decided to uh, bring this uh, charge controller to elevate it in a way that um, it's gonna work for my application so doing so I'm gonna use um, one of these guys but a shorter version of them I screw this thing all the way down to get them all stabilized okay when I do so all of them after I already got them all um, centered or aligned well the way it should then um, putting this uh, screw the short ones there they have to buy something longer than this I think approximately this about three three and a half inches long so I have to buy something if it's three and a half or so four inches long. Okay, narrow ones. That's going to fit. Set this thing here. That's going to fit on these holes. They can't go. It's a kind of a little bit tight fit. It can't go. So I need something narrow. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to use. So I have two type of them. This is the smaller skinny version. And you guys can tell from this both of them this is kind of a little bit wider focus see it's wider this is narrow so they can fit if I decided to use a skinny one longer than this ones I have to go to the hardware and look at and look and see if I can find something and I'm gonna set this thing right there okay right there Make sure it aligns right, looks straight. Doing so, um, I can able to get this bad boy working really, really nice. And by this elevating and having this little skinny screws all the way, see that? It's a little bit, can't even touch. So this guy is long. Look at that. It's just exactly the size of this. I need something longer that can penetrate to the wood. But I want it too long. 
unless I have to trim it. So look, look at the difference. This is gonna be really sitting right there. And uh, well, I need a skinny one, a skinny version of that. So this is the plan. Yeah, this is what I wanna do and this is what I'm gonna do. I think I've made up my mind and getting this thing set up this way and look at all the clearance I have underneath there. Okay, look at the clearance. I have approximately, if I use this thing, approximately what? I think I have to grab the tape and show you guys. Keep dropping this stuff and see what the clearance I have. I know a lot of you guys will be concerned. And uh, it's all communication wires and all, you know, network system. So, guys, let me grab the tape and show you what I'm planning to do. All right, this is my sterling tape. And guys, I can see, I just want to take the measurements for you guys and see. Um, this is just for heat uh, dissipating. And let's go with this. Look at the clearance. It's about approximately two inches. Okay. From the bottom and bottom and to the top where the thin, um, the machine just reached about one and a quarter one three eight three fourths whatever so almost two inches so I have almost about two inches of air flow on that machine so guys this is the one old thing about these projects you have to be creative you have to be uh, really um, economize with all the space you have and use a strategy how to go about this all right and this is what I come up with and look how this it, it lays really cool it, it, lo it looks really nice all the setup what do you think tell me what you think on the comments on the description below turn the light down a little bit and see how beautiful Live from Minnesota here, JW Solo USA, and thanks for watching. Love you guys all as usual, and stay tuned for more to come. It's a lot of wires there. That's the for the uh, display and uh, the power cords and battery temperature sensor. So take care and uh, wish you happy Fourth of July. Enjoy. Don't have too much fun. Bye for now.